This is my new to me 2007 Lexus LX 470 and I bought the cleanest LX 470 I could find to take off-roading. No, not really. I did buy the cleanest LX 470 I could find, but really it's just because, well, I absolutely hate rust. Always have, always will. This is a little too clean in my opinion to really thrash on but I wanted something a little bigger to go camping out of because I think it's well known if you go back and look at some of my god awful videos that I love Toyota 4Runners. I think they're fantastic, but I wanted something a little bitter, bigger, a little more luxurious, and I love mid 2000s luxury. I've owned a 2009 Mercedes E550 and a 2004, I believe, Mercedes E55 AMG. 2009 Audi and I just love what these cars have to offer for a fraction of what they were brand new. Well, I had to change locations because apparently you're not allowed to record at the casino, but I went with the Lexus LX470, uh, again, for the luxury. I was looking at Land Cruisers and even though I could have gotten something like a Land Rover with a lot of the same features for a lot less money, uh, I would like to get where I'm going, and this has one of the most reliable engines ever created by Toyota, and I plan on traveling pretty much the entire country once I get the chance with this car. I'm also just a huge Toyota fan. I think I brought that up already, but it was kind of a no-brainer to get either a Land Cruiser or a 470. So the plan with this, uh, once I sell my Toyota Tacoma, because that payment is killing me and I'm not rich, is to turn this in to a proper camping vehicle. Uh, you know, I have a good idea of what I'm going to do with the top, rooftop tent, you know, the typical overlanding, douchey, off-road vehicle. But, like I said, plan on traveling the country with this thing and I need to be able to live out of it. I've missed camping for quite some time because I hate setting up a tent, but I love camping out of the back of a vehicle. So to start off with, I'll just really lay down the seats, take these out, and that's where I'll camp until I, you know, can afford a rooftop tent. Now I don't fit, I'm not a super tall guy. I don't even think I'm six feet, I'm like 5'11 or something. I don't fit in this perfectly, but it's still a lot better than sleeping on the ground in a tent and then I don't have to pitch a tent, which is like one of my least favorite things in the whole world, as much as I love camping. I also wanted something that I could take the whole gang out and none of my friends are really that tall. I'm actually probably one of the tallest ones except for one that's like seven feet, but plenty of knee room, head room. This is a comfortable place to be. The seat's nice and cushy. I like it. Whereas I can't say the same about the Forerunners. Didn't have nearly as much room in the back. The third row, kind of pointless to me. Probably won't ever use it. That's why I'll just take the seats out and weight reduction, fuel savings. I also specifically went for a 2007 because for those that don't know, they um, introduced i want to say i think it's variable valve timing in the 2006 and 7 so i would have taken either year but you get almost a 40 horsepower pump and while i actually never even test drove one of the other ones this car is not fast no one ever said it's fast but it definitely has more than enough power to get up and out of its own way i have no problem merging with traffic it's actually been quite a joy to drive all this might be a little controversial 
I love the look of these. I like the look of the Land Cruisers, but the split headlight design reminds me a lot of my Mercedes, which is a dream car of mine back when I was in high school. So it's almost like a reliable Mercedes as far as the front end goes. I love the side profile of this big, boxy, the vents in the rear. I just think it's a super attractive vehicle. Uh, I've always, I've actually always liked these. I don't know why it took, why it took until now to finally purchase one, but here it is. I'm super happy with it. I love looking at it, love the color, love the interior color. Uh, I really have no complaints about this other than surprisingly the amount of rattles that it has. Well, that's pretty much my introduction. Not a super long video, not informative, but it's here. This is my plan with it to turn it into an awesome camping rig. Hopefully that doesn't take too long to do, but I'm really pleased with it. I think it's a vehicle that if you're in the market for anything like this, you should really consider. I'll catch you in the next video.